Brentech here, where tech is made simple. So we have a brand new version of the Brave web browser for desktop. And the reason I'm actually posting this so late today is because they've only just rolled out the release notes. And this update actually was pushed out late yesterday in my region on the 17th of April. But nonetheless, a better late than never. And to double check, we have the update. As always, we head to our main menu, Help, About Brave. And latest version for the browser is 1.65 now, being bumped up from 1.64.114. And the Chromium platform, which the browser is based on, moved up to the latest Chrome 124.0.0637.60. And that's exactly the same now as Google Chrome. And first of all, uh, just focusing on the Chromium security fixes because there are some important security updates that have rolled out. Um, as part of this um, update and if you missed my earlier video this week regarding Chrome a quick recap there are 23 security fixes which is plenty security fixes so numerous security issues have been addressed this week uh, there are no zero days which is good news but there are four high risk vulnerabilities so um, high risk is your level under critical and just to mention these they are listed as object corruption in v8 object corruption in WebAssembly, use after free in v8 and use after free in download so common exploits that are patched um regularly in the chromium based web browser so 23 security fixes four high impact and the rest are mediums and low impact now with that all out of the way uh, just to focus on some um, new features and improvements that have rolled out uh, with the browser now, first of all, uh, if you are using Web3, just to go back to that uh, About page quickly, if you are using Web3, which is the uh, wallet side of things, the crypto side of things, um, there's uh, numerous improvements, add-ons, updates, and fixes that have rolled out. So if you want to know more regarding that, if you are using um, the wallet, you just click on the version, and there you've got access to all the Web3 improvements because there's too many to mention in this video, else we would be here all day. Now, there is just one quickly to mention, and they've added support for Brave Wallet in uh, private windows. So if you are private browsing, you can now access uh, the wallet from a private window, which uh, may be good news if you are using private browsing and the wallet on a regular basis. Now, I'm focusing um, on the general um, updates and add-ons and fixes and so on. Um, I'm just going to pull a couple out. Um, there are quite a couple, but I think you might be interested in these. They've added the closed duplicate tabs option to the tab context menu. So basically, if you right-click now, you'll see closed duplicate tabs. And there we go. Obviously, I had two new tabs open. And I think that's a nice move in the right direction when it comes to uh, multitasking. I'm just going to mention this next one. They've added more tab grouping and management commands to be accessible from quick commands. So that may be a step forward if you are using quick commands. And if you are using the browser on Mac OS, they've added reconnect automatically to the uh, Brave VPN if you are using um, Brave with the VPN on Mac OS. So um, added reconnect automatically to the VPN on Mac OS. And then they've, if you are using the sidebar, um, just a small little UI adjustment here. They've updated the position of the add button on the sidebar. So I'm not exactly sure where it was previously, but that position has been updated according to uh, Brave. And something else with the sidebar while we have it open is they fixed sidebar icons um, being displayed over window content in certain cases. So some of these icons were um, kind of moving over to Windows content that has now been fixed, which I think is a small little significant change. And then they've updated the close, the minimize and the maximize buttons to be larger on Windows. And now I don't know exactly what the size was, but if I'm looking at that and I'm actually focusing on that now that they've mentioned it, it does look a little bit larger. Uh, those close, maximize and minimize buttons. Let's just head over to Chrome quickly and see it looks exactly the same to me but nonetheless they say they've made that adjustment now in the Brave web browser with this update and they've removed old ad block components 
after new ones are installed. And obviously that's to do with the Brave Shields. And they fixed a crash, which is always a good thing, which occurred on ARM64 Windows in certain cases. And that's some of the key highlights, guys. So that's what's new in this latest update. But unfortunately for me personally, they have still not fixed the bookmark syncing which has been a big one for me now, which has been going on now for at least the last month or so. And that's really causing a bit of an issue for me, especially with this channel, because I use Brave to manage this channel. But nonetheless, um, for whatever reason, not fixing that. And I have been on Brave forums. There's quite a lot of complaints about it. But nonetheless, I have posted on that, but doesn't seem to have fixed it with this update. But that's what's more or less what's new in Brave version 1.65 with Chrome version 1.24. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.